in the attempt to make my videos a little bit more creative, I decided to place a camera on a shaky track light directly above where my head is gonna go. So, this might be my last video. I love you all. Be brave. Hey guys, what's up? JD from JD Tech TV here and welcome to the first episode of my new series that I like to call Buy or Buy. This series will be all about gathering a bunch of similar products and I will give my impressions of each product, talk about its features, its build quality, its price, before I decide to give my final recommendation of Buy or Buy. First product that we're gonna be discussing is this pillow. So, uh, you know, go ahead and <clears throat> I'm just kidding. This episode is going to be all about cell phone cases. Now, keep in mind that all the cell phone cases that I discussed in this episode will be for an iPhone, but don't worry, my Android friends, I got you covered as well. A lot of the phone cases that I'll be talking about do have a version for Android phones, and the ones that don't, I will make sure to list options in the description down below for alternatives, as well as all of the other phone cases that I discuss in this video. First, I will go ahead and kick it off with two phone cases. Both of them are kind of similar enough, so it's easy for me to do them both at the same time. The black one is from Younge. It's a black leather case with a credit card slot on the back for easy access. The red one is from Bastex, and it's a red leather case with two credit card slots for Double easy access? I guess that's better. Let's go ahead and flip them over and, oh, strike one for Bastex. I mean, come on guys. At least put the right size foam padding on the inside. Oh, and the Younge case is inscribed. All right, we gotta read this. It says, it's kind of hard to make out. Luxurious case for your mobile phone. We design all the accessories with the full passion and concentrate in every detail which makes our products unique and thoughtful. A small fashion design brings your life big difference. Special homemade case. And if it's not apparent already, this company is from China, so the translation is a little bit skewed, but you know, it's nice, they try. They try to put something nice on the inside, so you gotta give it up to them for that at least. The construction is pretty flimsy for both, as they're both just thin plastic casing wrapped in leather and felt that will probably overheat your phone. All right, let's just go ahead and put it on my phone. Oh, and by the way, this is an amazing custom skin wrap for my iPhone from Slick Wraps. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but Slick Wraps, if you're listening, let's talk. But seriously, you should check out their site. It's actually pretty awesome. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description to their website down below. Okay, so I can already tell that this doesn't really fit on my phone all that well. It doesn't feel like it would stay on that tight. On the sides here, it's not raised above the screen, so if you put your phone screen down, it's resting right on the screen instead of resting on the edges of the case, which I really don't like that. But I got my Sam's and my BJ's membership cards to use for credit cards for this because if I use my real credit cards, that's just a terrible idea. All right, let's go ahead and try to put these in there and... Oh, that's, that's not that bad, I guess. Boy, but it does slide in and out really easily, so I wouldn't really feel secure with them being in there. I don't know, let's take this one out. Let's try the other one. It's it's more the same. Let's try the cards in the back. Oh, that comes out really easily too. No, I don't I don't really like this either. Yeah, I don't like this one either. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one out too. So the red Bastex case is $12.99 and the black Younge case is not even available anymore on Amazon. And I'm sure you could find it on other places if you really wanted to. But just go ahead and save yourself the money because both of these get the rating of Bye. Oh, oh, I went too aggressive. The next case that I got, I thought was kind of cool. It's one of those like secret compartment, like slider wallet cases to where you can like put stuff on the inside here and then keep it closed away from everybody's sight. Uh, this one, I got this one in rose gold for all the ladies out there, uh, but it does come in other colors as well. I don't know why I did that. It's made from a plastic and rubber that's sort of flimsy, but it has a lot of rubber on the insides and the edges, so it can offer a good amount of shock absorption if dropped. The back is kind of slick, but the edges here have a little bit more surface tension to them. Then there's the secret compartment in the back, and oh, see that's nice. Like it has like the sh rubber shock absorption padding here too. 
It can probably fit two credit cards. Yeah, well, I th actually, I think it can fit more. Well, that's good. And it stays closed pretty well. I mean, it w doesn't seem like it's going to pop open. All right, let's put the phone in it. Oh, man, that's that's pretty thick. I'm not really a huge fan of that, but, you know, I mean, that's just me. I'm more inclined to those really thin cases, but this probably won't bother most people. It just bothers me. But the edges raise up enough above the screen so you can place your phone screen down without the screen touching the surface. And on the back, it's raised up enough around the camera to protect the lens of the camera as well. I don't know, like, I can, I think I can see myself actually using this. Like, I think I can get over the thickness just because, I mean, like, my fiance and I, like, we go to Disney and uh, Universal a lot. We live in Orlando. So the key is for those places that you have to travel light. So you sometimes you just don't want to take your wallet and your phone. So I could actually just use this and then just put my ID and, like, a credit card in it and just carry that around. It's really inexpensive too. Like the price varies slightly depending on the color, but they're all under $10, which is crazy cheap for such a functional and well-built case like this one. So this case from Evatech deserves our first rating of buy. So good job, Evatech. You made a pretty good product. This one deserves a purchase. All right, let's go ahead and get this phone out of here. Okay, the next one is another one of those wallet style cases. And I already don't really like it because it's so thick. Like I like those thin cases and plus, this is another case from the company Younge, and we all know how their first case fared with me. But I know for a fact that this one is still available on Amazon, so maybe there's hope. So it's made of a leather on the... wait, wait, no, it feels more like a suede. I think it's like that polyurethane leather, like the fake leather, actually. Hmm, whatever. Alright, on the back there's two slots for credit cards. Let me try these other two. I mean, that's good. I mean, that stays in there pretty good. That's a lot better than the other one. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's kind of nice. That's not like a snap clasp. Like, it's... That's magnetic. I like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, so you open it up and there's two more slots on the inside. One is for an ID, obviously, so that's good. And... Oh, and you have a slot for money. That's actually kind of nice. Not a lot of the wallet phone cases have that. And your phone fits into the plastic area here. All right, it's pretty snug in there, so I really don't think that that's going anywhere. Oh, 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 it's magnetic. Oh, I love that. So you can just take this off and use this as a regular case when you don't want to carry this huge like wallet part of it. And then when you want to, it just attaches here. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, okay, so here's the real leather part that they were talking about. I actually really like that. It's padded there. It feels really nice holding it. Okay, I don't even care that this is bulky. Younge, you have redeemed yourself, my friend. This is really good, I like this a lot. This comes in uh, a couple different colors, which is nice. Um, it also comes in an Android model as well, not just an iPhone. And the best part about this, you know the best part about this? This case, it's under six bucks. This thing is really, really functional for being under six bucks. So this gets an absolute deserving buy rating. Definitely pick this one up. I like this one a lot. No, I like that. I like that a lot. Younge is making a comeback. Good job, Younge. Okay, next is our last case, and it's from Ice Smart. This is the Ice Smart Crystal Clear case, which obviously, as its name suggests, it's totally see-through. It's pretty flimsy, so I mean that kind of hints that it won't really protect your phone as much, but I think once it's on the phone, that won't really be as much of a concern. Okay, this, this is really nice. I did not expect to like this, this much. I mean, I already think this might be my favorite case. Although, to be fair, I might be a little biased because it clearly shows off my incredible custom skin from slickwraps.com. Slickwraps, please, please, can we work together? Please, I mean, I mean, it's cool. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. It's, it's whatever. Anyway, back to this. All right, so this feels really good in my hand. Like, it has a lot of surface tension, so... I mean, it's smooth, but it doesn't feel like it would slip out of my hand at all. I, I also don't feel like it would get stuck in my pocket or anything either. It's kind of like that perfect blend of smooth and sticky without it being sticky, if that makes sense. The edges come up on the side so you can safely place your phone screen down without it touching the surface. And the corners have some extra thickness for added drop protection. 
but it doesn't make the whole phone case thicker, just at these points. That's a smart design choice by iSmart. Way to live up to your name, guys. And the company says that it's scratch-proof and explosion-proof. How do you, why, why do you, why would you even test for that? What do you think I'm going to be doing with this thing? Like, mmm. I bet that's a Samsung dig. But what I like most about this is that it's a full cover case, but it doesn't make the phone feel thick, like, at all. The only thing that might be better than that is that it's under six bucks. That's crazy good for this case. I'm just going to go ahead and put that away. I, that's, that's staying on. That's going to my pocket. I'm done with that. So, needless to say, the phone case from iSmart gets the rating of buy. Definitely, definitely worth a buy. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching another review on JD Tech TV. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you like this new series of buy or buy, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And lastly, make sure to click that subscribe button and the little bell that's next to it. That way you can get notifications for every time that my video goes up to the minute. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you all next week.